Hello, in this video you can see firmware update procedure for Panasonic HCX1500 or HCX2000 camcorder. First you need to go to Panasonic website where firmware update file is located. Be sure to select exact your model specific. Link for Panasonic website with firmware update files you can find in description of this video. Check on camcorder itself which version of firmware is installed. Use this guide for your camcorder menu. My firmware version is 1.2. New firmware version is 1.3, so update is recommended by Panasonic. Now update file, as one zip file, is downloading. For camcorder firmware update you need is memory card. So pull out card from camcorder and plug in her in memory card reader on your computer. Now is needed to unzip downloaded file. You get an update.htc file. File size of downloaded and extracted zip file is about 41.2 megabytes. After extracting zip file be sure that the file size of extracted update.htc file is the same as one which is indicated in download instructions. Check exact number in bytes not megabytes. If both number match then downloaded and extracted file is ok and you can continue with procedure. Now copy update.htc file from your computer download folder to root directory of memory card. Root directory is the first or topmost directory in the hierarchy. After copying update.htc file in the root directory of memory card you must eject her from memory card reader on your computer and put it back to camcorder. Camcorder of course need to be off. CAUTION! 
In this firmware update procedure it is required to use slot 1 for memory card. After installing memory card back to camcorder you can turn it on. Use navigation on camcorder menu to engage update procedure as shown on video. Caution. If you switch off the power of camcorder, or pull out SD memory card during firmware update, your camcorder might be damaged. So absolutely is needed to avoid such kind of operations. Confirm the version, and press, set. When access lamp, card 1, start to flash, wait for a while. After about 30 seconds, the camcorder will automatically be restarted. When message, update is completed, appears, press, OK. The firmware update procedure is complete and now you can switch off camcorder and remove the memory card. Caution. If you use the memory card for further recording purpose of camcorder without deleting the updating software, update.hdc file, recording capacity will be reduced, and also may cause damage to the camcorder. So update.hdc file must be deleted or you can just format memory card after firmware update procedure. Keep in mind that all data, including protected data, will be deleted so checking the contents of the card before formatting is preferable. That would be all in this video. I hope that will help someone who hesitate to do this procedure from any reason. Thanks for watching.